Hello and welcome to this review of The Truth About the Duke Historical Romance Book Series by Caroline Linden. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot. You're watching Random Olive Reads. First up is I Love the Earl, which is a prequel novella. Margaret has been a dowdy spinster with no success in finding a husband. When her brother unexpectedly inherits a wealthy dukedom, he settles a large dowry on her. Suddenly, Margaret is besieged with suitors of the fortune-hunting variety. Reese is an impoverished earl who is hesitant to marry for money, but is intrigued by Margaret's forthright style of speaking. He decides to slowly court her and win her favor as he would very much like to spend the rest of his life with her. One Night in London is book one of the series. Three sons of a duke are forced to deal with a 60-year-old scandal after their father's death when it turns out that the duke had legally married a woman and never divorced her before marrying their mother. That woman had disappeared and it is unknown if the duke's second marriage was bigamous or not, which may make his sons illegitimate. Second son, Edward, is the responsible and industrious one, set on hiring the best solicitor to resolve the situation. Unfortunately, he has stolen away that best solicitor from Francesca, who needs the legal assistance in seeking custody of her niece. While agitated and upset, Francesca confronts Edward and insists upon his help in securing a new solicitor. He reluctantly agrees, and the rest of the book is focused on Edward helping with Francesca's problems in locating and gaining custody of her niece. Blame It on Bath is book two of the series. This book follows the youngest son of the Duke, Gerard, who was an army officer on leave from his duties after his father's death. With the rumors surrounding his father's secret wife, Gerard is contemplating marrying an heiress to secure his finances. Luckily for him, he has been proposed to by a quiet and unassuming widow, Catherine, who is trying to free herself from marrying her late husband's nephew. Gerard agrees to the proposal and also tries to gain Catherine's affections in the process. After a hasty wedding, they're off to Bath, where Gerard attempts to find the person who is blackmailing his father with knowledge of the long-ago secret marriage. While Gerard is good-natured and easygoing with his new wife, she is insecure and wary of his motives. She has had a history of being browbeaten by her social climbing mother and poor treatment by her late husband. It takes quite a bit of effort for both, uh, on both Gerard and Catherine's parts for her to trust him. The Way to a Duke's Heart is book three of the series. It's eldest son Charlie's turn to take up the fight for his family's legacy. We start with a prologue which explains the rift between Charlie and his father and his descent into Raquel ways. As we start chapter one, we overlap a bit in time with the previous book and Charlie's appearance in Bath to assist Gerard with his search. While checking into the hotel, a young widow, Tessa, seems to be aggrieved by him and callously mentions him being indolent. Tessa and her companion are in town to discuss an investment opportunity with the local mill owner. The mill owner is the person that Charlie is looking for. So Charlie arranges an introduction via Tessa. Charlie is the ever-charming and rakish aristocrat he's always been, but this demeanor causes Tessa to be suspicious since she once had her heart broken by a man who seemed to charm her. Tessa is analytical and unladylike and really not used to having this type of attention. With all of the time that Charlie and Tessa are spending together, she realizes that he has more depth than she originally thought, and he realizes that he likes her prickly directness. We do also learn about what happened to the Duke's first secret wife and who is responsible for the blackmailing. Aside from the prequel novella, the three main books here overlap a bit in time with each other and are best read in order. There's an overarching mystery over the three books with the old Duke's secret long ago marriage, and each brother takes up his own part of the investigation. With such a tight-knit plot, I really enjoyed binge reading these books in succession. I can't imagine the suspense readers were in at the time of publication, having to wait months and months to find out what happens next. 
luckily for us, we get to read a completed series. I definitely enjoyed this series. I also loved reading the relationship each brother had with their Aunt Margaret, who was the main character of the prequel. I highly recommend this series. Thank you so much for watching this video. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates, and you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.